scale of this place is nuts. It's so vast. Meherba friends, we're Garrett and Sky, and we're in Istanbul. It's a perfect 70 degrees outside, and it just stopped raining, so it's the perfect time to hit the town and explore. Let's go. Today, we're taking in the sights and sounds of the old city. We're walking down this steep hill to get to the metro stop, and then cross over the Golden Horn to the old town of Istanbul. We actually climbed this very steep hill yesterday with all of our luggage. It was a very sweaty mess. And right now, it's much nicer to be climbing downhill. <laughs> Let's go get the day started. We made it to Sultanahmet! This neighborhood is home to so many iconic landmarks in Turkey, like the Hagia Sophia. But you can't do sightseeing on an empty stomach. So first, let's go get a bite to eat. Come on. So for lunch, we're headed to Balikja Sabahatin. It's been noted as one of the best fish restaurants in Istanbul by vloggers, locals, and even the New York Times. So this restaurant is family owned and continues to be passed down through the Subhatin family. It's most well known for its sea bass, so I'm excited to try some. For starters, we ordered the aubergine salad, which is eggplant salad. Mm. Get some fried calamari. Mm. Huh. I'm going to destroy this plate. It's like hot and succulent and juicy and then like this outside has a crisp to it. Some of the best cooked sea bass I've ever had. We cleaned up our whole plate. Time to go! That restaurant was delicious. It was a little on the pricey side at about 40 US dollars total for the meal, but oh my God, that sea bass, you gotta come and eat that here. Now that we're all fueled up and ready to go, we're gonna check out the Hagia Sophia. Hagia Sophia at four in the afternoon on a Sunday. So there's a bit of a line, but it's moving. We'll see how long this takes. Why do so many people come to visit the Hagia Sophia? It's because it's the cornerstone of so much of Turkish history from all the way back in the 500s when the Romans built it. It stood as a church for a thousand years until the Ottomans took over and turned it into a mosque. Scale this place is nuts. The nice thing about the Sultanament is that everything's super close. So we're just gonna go walk over to the Blue Mosque. Unfortunately, there's construction going on, which definitely takes away from the grandeur of this place. But from the pieces we can see, they do look stunning. So definitely recommend coming back here when there isn't any more construction. So far, lines have been a very fluid concept here. When you travel with me, it's always snack time. So after checking out the Blue Mosque, I'm going to go grab a snack from one of the cute red stands in the square. Oh, man. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh God. <laughs> oh, my God. 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 Oh, my God
var ya. Turn. Tam. Diger. Oh oh. Apa? Gel. Diger. Extra for you. Oh. Ah. Come on. How are you? Try. Test. Thank you. Very good. After a good snack, we're gonna go taste the sunset before eating again at dinner. The best donor place is a hotly debated topic in Istanbul, and a few different lists have mentioned this place. Dinerji Salal Osta. So off of different recommendations, I've actually gotten the Iskender, which is the donor meat covered in hot tomato sauce. It seems pretty thin and uh, largely composed of oil. Kind of gives the meat an extra coating and an, uh, keeps it nice and moist. Mm -hmm. It's good flavor. So this is a kofta, which is a minced meat ball. Seems like it's wrapped in dough. Excited. Mmm. Oh. This is almost like a corn dog full of minced beef. This is really good. So this is baklava in a form that I haven't seen it before. All this kind of like stringy crispness uh, instead of the typical sheets of phyllo pastry. Mmm. Oh, that's pretty nice. All the little strings actually make for a nice like kind of crunchy texture. And the pistachio is on point as usual as it's been here in Turkey. Our waiter is super nice. He just gave us a second round of free tea and uh, taught me that çok güzel means very good. Day has been awesome. We're gonna go explore more of Old City tomorrow. So till then. See you next time, friends. Well, this is a bummer. We just spent the last bit of our cash to get the Istanbul bus card, and it came out saying error without giving us our money back. So now we have the support ticket we don't know what to do with, and no cash. <laughs> We found one that takes credit card, thank God. And we made it. <laughs>